close one, guys. But I made it to the gas station. Fueling her up. Looks like it's going to take about 400 bucks to get her across country. 2,400 miles, 50 miles a gallon, and uh, we're going to make it. Not too bad, right? I mean, it's a classic. Well, you, you can't expect good gas now. I'm making good progress, guys. Oh, oh, almost all my stuff, this is a YouTube video, but almost all my stuff is going up on Instagram. So we got data storage issues, so I'm not able to do all the editing I like to do, like I tried to do last night. It's telling me it can't store it on the device and then save it and then upload it, but I believe I can go right to YouTube directly from my phone today. So if you're on YouTube, you're looking for stuff on uh, this epic road trip that's going on right now, day two. Uh, go to Instagram Mustang Medic and follow because it's basically it's like a it's like a cartoon strip. Like every hour or two hours, I'm sending I'm sending something up that's going on in this trip. I think it's interesting. I think you will too. So I will attempt to uh, this evening to get more YouTube videos up. But uh, if you want a play by play on the red lady who's doing very who's doing very well uh, going to Meekum and then the whole show with, with the bullet and all, all of that uh, I highly recommend following us Mustang Medic on Instagram under of course Mustang Medic it's going well the trip is going well woohoo cross country in a 73 beautiful one going to auction. When does that happen? Almost never. I'm sure as heck never videoed as much. If I do say so myself. Appreciate you guys watching. I really do. Can you tell them drive through Arizona? Well, this is business. Mexico props for the roads, man. They are nice, they're smooth, they're not pulling me left and right, so props to New Mexico. I'm just sitting here, cranking a Frank Sinatra, cruising at an average 70 miles an hour, and uh, enjoying the ride of life. Not hanging out at any locations like I am planned on this trip. Um, I'm trying to do it in three days, and you know, taking care of making sure I don't take any risk with being tired or anything. But I'm doing good. I was like thinking to myself, man, I'm 55. And am I going to be really tired on this trip? No. I enjoy driving. I enjoy, and I really enjoy driving classic cars, even though they're harder to drive than the uh, moderns, as they say. Even my 2000s is like a breeze. This one's a little bit more challenging, but it's just nice. It's like a time machine. When you're in a classic Mustang, or classic car, any car, when it's stock all around you, it could be any time period. You can listen to any music. I, I'm listening to Frank Sinatra right now, so that's life. That's what people say. You get knocked down, you get right back up and you sell another Mustang. That's my song. <laughs> Texas and I saw this gentleman pull up in his Mustang and I was like wait a minute this is a totally custom SN95 so what what motivated you to paint it the way you did what 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 made why did you paint it the way you did I didn't paint it you didn't paint it no you bought it like this yeah I bought it like this do you like it like this I like it you like it yeah sure all right let's turn the camera around and check out his, his SN95 all right thank you <laughs> <laughs> look at this car look at the paint job he bought it this way I have never seen oh, it's not I've never seen a new edge with a paint job like this. You know what I mean? This is true. Mustangs are an expression of yourself. And not him because he bought it this way, but black bumpers, white body, and a big old black double stripe going across her. I just had to show it to you guys because I've never seen it this way. 
Be nice, okay? Be nice on the comments. Mustang,